Hey, you guys. Hi. Just like oil on my hands, y'all. Oh, my Korean baby Ray is just like, oh, it's just like so black. I don't understand why. That's why it's like it came out of nowhere. Like, she is so, I'm sorry, it's so black. It's so fucking, it's so self care I mean, it is like, you know what I'm saying? Just like oil on my hands. Are you kidding me? Is that what it's like, Korean? You understand? Like, it's like, just like oil on my hands. The lyrics of, of her songs are just like, so East St. Louis too. I'm not joking. Like, it's just like, put your records on, play me your favorite song. That's what you do. Y'all used to get a crown for whoever could do the... My mama would give us the crown. I guess what it would be? Like the 45? It would be the 40... <laughs> it would be the 45 um square. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know how you put the 45 record in there? Uh, I'll put a 45 record holder. Um, I just didn't tell y'all everything that happened in my day yesterday. And it's just like I feel like I need to. Like I got Hannah... I don't know if anybody can see that. I, can you see my henna? My henna. Oh, they can't see nothing. But I got henna. And uh, so a 45 record holder. Uh, let's see. Paper. Because it's like, that would be our crown. It is hilarious. Like when we win, that's what she put on our head. <laughs> I think Terrell came up with it, my cousin. That is like, I'm going to make that my thing today. I just love it. Yep. So if we win, like the um the little contest or whatever, because we'll be doing like um shows and stuff, you know, like if we win, we just that's that's our crown. We just put it up there. It is so fucking cute. Maybe I should make some crowns out of them for real. Um, what else? I think that would be so cool. Forty five. Yeah, forty five record sleeves. They expensive shit. I thought this would be a cheap investment. I get a hundred of them for $16.99. Oh, this one says a hundred vinyl 45 sleeves for $7.50. Y'all see what I'm saying? So I could just decorate these and just are they black or what color? What color are they, baby? I made lace crowns, so these would be like some cute crowns to get away. But yeah, it's like, um, my mom, are they black or white? I don't know what color they are. I wouldn't even know what to buy to decorate them. Oh, I think they like, that's not what I want. What do they look like? They won't show me what they look like. But anyway, yeah, so, um, they do. They show me. It's just like a, it's a plastic sleeve. I don't need that. I want the, I want the one with the hole in it. Today I met the cutest baby and she's like, I'm like, you gonna take care of your mama? She's like, mm-hmm, I am. I'm gonna give her love. It's like, oh my God, you are so fucking cute. Okay, so yeah, I got henna. I told y'all about the coffee to the toast. So today I tried the Mississippi mud. I'm not a chocolate fan, and that's all I tasted, and it was chocolate. So, because it's like, I'm just not a fan of chocolate. That's just not my life. 17 cents. It would cost me 17 cents. So, I really would want to decorate them and make crowns out of them. It's just stuff we do. Y'all, I love this idea. No, baby, I still need some more Korean baby Bailey Ray. Can't do that to me. Um, trouble sleeping. I think this the one. Now this is is this love? Um. Okay, so yeah, I did that. What else did I do? Love and treat you right. Y'all, I'm talking about Bob Marley for share a shelter of a single bed. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that 
I'm feeling Is this love, is this love, is this love that I'm feeling? I want to know now. I love it. Okay, so today is all about burnout. And I want y'all to say, I want y'all to say, everybody is a scientist. And some people are natural born therapists. So it's a man at the uh, at the shelter. He always get in trouble. His name is Mike. He always doing something crazy, but he's always able to recognize like people's feelings and who they are and all this different stuff. He just does not know the direct name of it. So today we were discussing the girl, the hooker, because she's not a hooker. She just a slut. And it's like we don't want to use these terms for people. But what's happening is, it's like these people are actually what we saying. Like it's not like we trying to be mean or anything. This is actually what they do. This is who they are. So today he was telling me about that, and it's because she's a narcissist. So this morning, yesterday, remember I told y'all I got upset with her because she was mad at this guy for going to the bathroom in the women's bathroom, and the men's bathroom was locked up. So this morning the men's bathroom was open. And she is acting as if he does this on purpose. Like he just goes to the women's bathroom. He doesn't. That's why I got his back because he doesn't do this. He really is just trying to get in a place so he can do something and go to work. Y'all understand? It's like he is just trying to get out the door. So if he got to pee or anything like that, go. you know, he needs to do that before he goes to work, right? So it's like she went into the bathroom and stayed in there for an hour. So he wouldn't go into the women's bathroom. So the first ignorance thing is, is that this man really is trying to keep a good life. He been in jail for 10 years. He went to jail when he was young. So he is really trying to stay afloat and keep a good life. And so this person is in the way of doing this. This is what Marla did to her. Um, Marla did this to her. Marla Clemens, the lady I'm telling you about in Texas. She did this to her boyfriend too. She came down the steps and told me she cut herself. So she must have saw the stuff from, about me and Marcus. So she was trying to act like she was going to be me. Right? So she runs down the stairs and she didn't know any details about me and Marcus's relationship or anything. That's when the files about court used to be online. So she ran downstairs and cut herself. And when she came down, she told me she that he cut her. Knowing that if this boy does anything, he's going back to jail. And he went to jail young, too. So she went to go pick him up out of jail. Then try to set him up in these situations. And it's like, you a dirty bitch if that's the shit that you do. I'm missing something, y'all. For some reason, what if, well, I'm on brown sugar talking, not, not on black unicorns. But I could put that on there. Okay, so, look. On, um, wait, on Instagram. So, look. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? This girl actually came down there. So then she comes into my house and say, he didn't cut me, I cut myself. I called the police. This is how I knew they was probably recording in my apartment because she got upset. I called the police and told the police that she lied. Y'all understand what I'm saying? If she called to tell you that this man did something to her, she is lying. And she came and told me that she was lying. Y'all see what I'm saying? So now this boy goes down to the um uh, goes down to the clinic to get his physical so he can start driving school. Y'all, I hate a dirty bitch. I'm not playing and y'all be trying to sit up here like these women don't be out to get these men. The boy is young and he got a chance at a new life. This girl goes down there because he down there with another girl and tries to fight him while he down there. He had to call the police again. But this is the thing. I had already told the police in Dallas. I didn't tell the police that were in, I think that's probably Plano, where he was at. But I think it's still Dallas City, but I don't know if it's a different, because it's just up the street, but it could be a different place. You said it could have been Carrollton or, or Dallas. I don't know. I hope it's Dallas. But I'm just like, this girl was actually trying to get him put back in jail because he didn't want to be a person that would walk around and carry her fucking purse. When you dealing with a low-life woman, I mean, and it, and they they will stick together too, just like white folks. I'm not joking. That's why it's not just a. That's why I, I can't use color all the time because it's a human thing. It's just like what type of tragic situation are you? 
And I told y'all her sister actually was trying to get a refund from somebody at Forever 21. The girl didn't give her the refund because she knew she stole the suit. This girl waited until she got off of work and followed her to fuck home and beat her up with her friends. Y'all see how they stick together? That's some of the craziest shit that a person could ever fucking do. And she, her sister was going to jail for it, or was supposedly going to jail for it. Y'all, it is just like we just in this situation where we looking at them like y'all need to be in jail. For a bitch to wake up at an hour for she ain't never got up no fucking morning since we've been there. This boy is going to work. To work. She ain't got no job. She ain't got her kids. All she doing is walking around spending her $1,000 of food stamps. You see what I'm saying? Fucking somebody for some fucking money. Walking around in men's underwear with holes in the back. I'm talking about all types of shit. And she not even on drugs. I'm talking about this girl. That man said, yeah, she a real slut. He said, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to tell you, Shantae. I don't like that either. And the men don't say nothing. They not disrespectful down here. Ain't no man really about to say nothing to her. They trying to get the women. You see what I'm saying? Because that's not how we talk. If you in a relationship, that man need to say something for you if a man coming up to you. And if it's a woman, you need to go ahead and say something for him. Because they'll try to say it's something going on or he trying to do this. No, no ho. Y'all, I'm talking about this man had to actually sit there. He was like, I say it's because she a narcissist. This girl got up and just sat in the bathroom for almost an hour and a half. Because he didn't even get up on time. So that he wouldn't go into the bathroom like he do that every day. He wouldn't even make that type of choice if he didn't have to, y'all. I'm talking about he a good spirit. But for the man that go in there, it was two of them men that went in there and they don't have to go in there at all. It's an older man. He always go to the women's bathroom. The whole time we been there, he the nastiest motherfucker in there. He got some shit on the toilet. She talking about, nah, that was dust from his booty. Because he didn't wash it. But for Terrell, the one that's going to work, the good man, you gonna get up an hour early and go stay in the fucking bathroom? I'm talking about this dusty booty nigga that straight, straight up left dry shit on the toilet and you trying to sit over here and, and say that to the, one, the one that's got a job, the clean one, it's doing something wrong. Y'all had to tell them, you know what? This is a regret in my life. I should have still been whooping y'all asses. I'm not fucking playing from Miss Woods on down. I'm in this situation because of some dirty bitches. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Y'all ain't got to go grimy for no motherfucker. Y'all some nasty bitches. I'm not playing. It ain't no fucking way you got the real, that you have the essence of a woman. I just ain't never seen no shit like this. Y'all, then I'm just like, I, I would early stay in the bathroom. It was another man, Corleone, he looked just like, um, I told you, he looked just like Mississippi brother, the girl that was at the, uh, the shelter that was just, uh, she just so stupid. I'm thinking he getting stuff from Mississippi from the shelter in East St. Louis and then bringing it up there to sell to us. He's selling bus tickets, bus passes, all type of shit. So they probably stealing the shit and then bringing it over there to sell to us. Everybody in there homeless. The people at the shelter actually have to go to work and everything. And you mean to tell me, I'm talking about you got women over here in, the, in situations where they need to take care of themselves. A period, all type of stuff. They need to get on the bus and be able to go. You don't need to be holding no bus pass from a woman or telling her she needs to buy it. Y'all need to just be giving that shit out like it's candy. If somebody telling you they look for a job, they looking for a job, they need a bus pass. If somebody got a job, they need a bus pass. Either way, they need a bus pass or some bus tickets. Don't nobody want to just sit nowhere. They don't want to have to limit their budget the whole time. You got to catch two or three buses sometimes just to get to one place. This stuff is ridiculous. And sometimes you don't have three dollars. Sometimes that three dollars is lunch. I cannot believe. I just was like, "Are you freaking kidding me?" I really think they broke out of the jail in East St. Louis. I'm not joking. It's a car sitting in front of that gate. 
they broke out of jail. It is a car, the same car that's sitting there. It's across from Hood's lot. I'm not playing. They broke out of that jail in East Saint. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't nobody mama didn't taught you to do that. I said your own mama slapped your face. You well, I was over there and we was arguing. I made him miss work. Your mama beat the hell out of you. Do y'all understand? That is a low life woman. And if that's something that she do, you need to leave her. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me see. Um. Okay, so recognize the stress in yourself. And this is it. Constant worrying, forgetfulness, difficulty making decisions, inability to concentrate, loss of sense of humor, or emotional symptoms, anxiety, anger, feeling powerless, frequent mood swings, irritability, frustration, nervousness, and sadness. This is also caused by other people. Don't just think, oh my God, I'm so terrible because I'm going through this. It's probably not you, it's probably other people. Physical symptoms, racing heart, headaches, exhaustion, upset stomach, muscle tension, just not feeling like you. And another symptom is you got to be somebody ass. I'm not playing. I'm not joking. We was talking about that too. You don't want to have to tell somebody that they need their ass beat. And you just sit up there thinking that, okay, this domestic violence. I'm not playing. Some of them actually need their faces slapped. It's not a joke. Like, you actually just want to go over and take your hand to him. Y'all understand? It's like, I, I can't. Here you go, till it happens to you. I love this uh, song. Whew. Y'all, I love this song. I'm sorry. I got to take a music break because I can't believe I'm in this situation. I hate living with women. Some, but I say what? Heat of the moment There's a little truth in between the words you spoken It's a little late now to fix the heart that's broken Please don't ask me where I'm going Cause I don't know no, I don't know anymore. It used to feel like heaven. It used to feel like May. I can hear those violins playing hard strings like a symphony. And now it's gone away. I forgot the words, y'all. I ain't heard it in so long. Still face the truth. And you won't believe what love can do. Till it happens to you. Yo, man, listen to this part. Listen to this part. She is so black. I'm sorry. Went to the offline. Guess I was trying to turn the clock back. Somehow nothing feels the same now that I'm with you. We used to stay up all night in the kitchen when our love was new. Oh, love, I'm a fool to believe in you. Cause I don't know, girl, in the kitchen, I don't know. Who is the writer, y'all? Anymore. It used to feel like heaven. Girl. It used to feel like me. I used to hear those violins playing hard strings like a symphony. And now it's gone away. Nobody wants to face the truth. But you won't believe what love can do till it happens to you. Girl, I'm talking 
talking about man the riffs everything her boyfriend um overdosed you see he was a drug addict so yeah i don't know if it was her boyfriend or her husband and i hate to bring up old stuff but it's like man that's just like something man you won't believe it you won't believe what love can do until it happens to you okay so this is a rain technique and this is seven ways to teach failure is a great to teach kids failure is a great thing so recognize what is happening so this is how you stop this is how you show love you understand what i'm saying so you got this person that's putting you in a stressful situation and so now or somebody else is going through a stressful situation and i'm doing this too because this man i had to tell him today the girl is a narcissist and he told me today that this guy was a racist and i was like so he said that's been hard for him to do that to like actually find positivity in black people and I was like, man, that's hard because sometimes you think it's the color. You think it's the whole group of people, and it's not. It's just the person. It's just the people. So I was telling him, well, that's Adlerian therapy that you're teaching him. And he was like, okay, that's what you call it. I said, A-D-L-E-R-I-A-N. I was like, you are a therapist. You know, I was like, you are so good at this. And I said, so now you need to start telling him or asking him questions about, not telling him, asking him questions about who he is. What are his traditions? What is his culture? What are his moral values? Who is he? Where did he come from? And so all of that would actually help him connect back to himself. So then when he thinks that there's a problem with himself, he will more likely try to relate himself to that person. You see what I'm saying? Because really humans, we kind of do do the same thing. We still really have that same habits. Good habits, not bad habits. So some people be like, oh, they did this because of the... You know what I'm saying? That's why it's so easy for us to recognize that this girl is a slip. Because most of us in there have good habits. And she is the only one there with a bad habit. And then she will try to ignore that she did anything. You see what I'm saying? Anytime you tell a shit, well, I was, I was just, and I was, and I was, and I, and I. And it's like, no, baby. It's not about you. Because this man has to go to work and make some fucking money. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So we can get the fuck out of her. So he can have a better life. You see, if he's telling, if he and I tell us, I'm trying to work every day. He's not joking. You see what I'm saying? Because some people like to have a little money in the bank. Now it's a chance for growth. I'm trying to grow. And you sitting over here trying to take my water. So I can dry out. That's some bullshit. Y'all see what I'm saying? That's why she needs to be stopped. Why you got time for that dumb shit? Like, it's so immature. Okay, so anyway, that's what it is. So this is where you stop. This is the, this is the, this is the, it's not like it's punishment. You understand what I'm saying? Nothing is ever punishment. It's just telling somebody so they can grow. I can't tell everybody because I'm going to end up busting them in their fucking face. That's why I was telling him, I say they need you as a therapist because I'm not the person they can talk to. Y'all, I'm talking about I beat their ass with a pole. It'll be right up under that chair. Okay, recognize what is happening. So, that's when you just talk about how, what you're feeling. Allow life to be just as it is. Investigate with kindness. And you see what they're saying with kindness. Like, you don't have to, like I say, spread around, sport a child. Y'all thinking... Y'all got to give them a ride. No. You need to actually stop people and start telling them what's going on. And I'm not saying for little petty shit either. Because y'all don't touch the donut. Get the fuck out of my face. Tell the man don't touch the kids. Tell yourself to stay the fuck out of people business. You see what I'm saying? Y'all always want to talk about some little bitty shit. Let's talk about some big shit. Because them be the ones I'm going to beat with that fucking pole. Next, in non identification. So it's like, um, I am having a thought of or emotion, but I am not that thought of or emotion. Y'all see what I'm saying? So that's not you. Just because you angry don't mean you got to be upset with yourself because that's not you. You have a reason to be upset. So this morning, when Terrell was telling me about the girl, he said, I can't keep talking. I said, Yes, you can. I say, That's so wrong for people to think that when somebody do something wrong, we can't say nothing about them. I said, you can talk to me about whatever the fuck you need to. 
it ain't nothing that he couldn't tell me today because she actually need her face slapped. That's not a joke. So he today he felt like I can't I can't say nothing about her. I can't do this. I can't whatever. And it's like yes you can. Yes you can. If y'all want to know more about the other seven or six ways y'all can hit this it actually comes from BigLifeJournal.com and you can just hit the the link and if you want to see the Pinterest board. But that's rain. So first recognize what is happening. And allow life to be just as it, is, as it is. I am mad and I feel like crying. It's uncomfortable, but I can allow myself to feel this way. You can. Today, he, sh he can allow himself to talk. Investigate with kindness. That's what I told him with kindness. Like, Terrell, it is okay for you to talk. You don't have to sit, sit here and not say anything about what's going on because that is a problem. Because he was not going to go into that bathroom. He said, that's really petty because it's like, why would you have that type of ill will against me and I haven't done anything to you but have a job? But that white man don't have a job. Y'all understand what I'm saying? That's who she with. This skeevy looking white dude. And not to say it's his color, it's just, it's just he looked like he a molester or something. I don't know, like he like uh, try to get you to do porn and you don't want to at an underage. I mean, he just looked awful. This man going to McDonald's, he going to be the next Calvin. And you sitting up here talking about uh, he can't go into the women's bathroom. Don't let your man go in the women's bathroom, nasty hoe. Y'all see what I'm saying? And none identification. So now Terrell is not his feelings. He not the way he feel. You understand? He feel bad that he got something to say about it. And it's like, no, you got every right to say it. It's wrong. Okay, next. So this is your burnout path to remission. This is when people that got on your nerves, you done burnt out everything. So listen, you have to get yourself back. You got to throw yourself out the window. So now you're going to say yes to yourself. You're going to maintain simple habits so you can see yourself doing it. Create and implement systems. And that's okay too. Now I'm going to, this is how I'm going to exit the room. Raise my rates. That means that um, if that's a source of stress, then you gonna have to, that's something you gotta change. They saying he says by raising my freelance rates based on the market average. I don't know why they doing this. Okay, I don't know why they saying that. Uh, listen to my body, but it's, if it's about your money, yes, raise your rates. Do what you have to do to get yourself somewhere. Delegate, delegate when I can. It's for a job. Set short term goals and learn new tools. I thought this was for, for like my path to burnout, my path to burnout remission. So this is for your business. But let's try to put it for ourselves. So say yes to myself. That means that I got to take some money and put it back in my pocket. Maintain simple habits. That's, that means, okay, now I got to take care of myself. Create an implement system. Then you just deal with what it is that, that's going to make your life easier. Raise my rates. If you need more money, then that's what you have to do. But if it's a job, hey, you can't really do nothing about it. If it's life, you can't do nothing about that. But you can raise who you see. You see what I'm saying? So if, Raise my rights then. Okay, I need new friends. I don't need to be around this all the time. I need to turn myself and look at the wall. I need to lay down and go to sleep. Y'all see what I'm saying? Because that's the situation we in. We can't really do nothing about it. They ain't put out yet. Listen to my body. When I'm tired, I need rest. You see? Because now it's like, I can't sit here and deal with this stress. When I saw that boy over there taking those drugs and just going to fucking sleep. Like something was wrong with him. You see what I'm saying? And it's like they'll take some snippet from his show and think it's so cool. Just because I didn't say Drake out like a light was a dope ass verse, it is because you have to actually listen to it to know what he's talking about. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? It's like a whole verse about taking a pill. That's all that was. That's the dopest shit ever. That don't mean you got to sit there and take a pill. You see what I'm saying? Maybe that's just going to increase your writing. That's going to make your writing better. The shit dope. I don't know if he take drug or not, drugs or not. He probably don't. But he might be getting money from Xantax for, for saying it in the rap. It's not a joke. That's all he doing is marketing. So it's like, that's it. I would like to like. That's it. That don't mean sit there and take drugs. It means sit there and now write. Become a creative person. Next, delegate when I can. Okay, so I cannot do this by myself. So that's something Terrell did when he was like, the people that work here need to tell this girl. You see, because he got to go to work. The people that work here need to tell her what. 
to sit her ass down and shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out the bathroom. This one, that woman should have been able to say, get your dumb ass out that fucking bathroom. You see what I'm saying? When the people really need to be cussed out, ain't nobody there to cuss them out. Get your funky ass out that fucking bathroom. You ain't washing up. Okay, set short term goals. And that means just coming in and now what am I going to do to keep my focus on myself and not on what this person is trying to give me a problem with? Learn new tools. You see what I'm saying? That be research work. You can get a new game. Terrell will sit there and play a game or whatever. You see what I'm saying? He'll read the Bible. It's like so many different things that they do. And that's it. So this is just like, okay, after I go through all this bullshit and this motherfucker that got on my fucking nerves and I can't do nothing about it, this is what I need to do. <sighs> Y'all, I'm talking about, I just ain't never thought I'd see no shit like this in my fucking life. Like, it's like I really am still at war. That's it. Anyway, it's Shantae Brown, Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns, telling y'all to fuck off. Blake, thank you and I love you. Get these dumb bitches back in jail. Put they asses back in fucking jail. Have a great day. Feel like 